Hello guys, it's me again. This time for the leader's technique. We will try to don't say any more man and woman because there are just leader and follower. So that can be woman or man. So let's go like always in the beginning of the sidestep because we know that it's important and because like this we can um, dance in a more clear way. So let's go in our embrace and prepare, stretch the leg. I will remind you the leg where is the weight is a little bit bent, the other one is completely stretched. I push on the floor and I cross my weight. Push on the floor, stretch, stretch. Let's go also with dissociation just to make to also training our dissociation. I have to feel tension in my back while I'm doing, otherwise, it's like I'm not training nothing. Mm -hmm. Stretch and go. Stretch and go. Stretch. Feel your back every time you turn without turning your hips. Yeah, I think it's better to training without jumping. This. Yeah, I am back. Yeah, so. Well, you turn. And there is your chest that facing that way. Try to don't turn also your hips. Stretch completely. Guys, I insist in this because we should be nice and one common mistake of us is don't stretch never our leg the easy position to stretch is the side so for that reason let's training this side step and feel really stretch the leg Let's feel also our shoulders down. For that reason, we should uh, we go in embrace. Also, to training, don't go up. Push on the floor, stretch. Push the other one and bend. We have always to alternate. Show from the back. Okay, let's change exercise. Let's do one exercise that we can need when we want to play a little bit with the, in the turn with a woman for Roske or Hero with Sagata, with a Roske, with Lapis but we will do a really easy exercise <coughs> we will go for example with my left at the beginning let's training a little bit of Ocho Adelante okay? Ocho delante, it's one step where we go, we move in a line with dissociation. So the idea is we will not go front, 
like we do while we walk, that we go in two lines. But we will do just in one line with the feet a little bit open, so I am not straight but a little bit open and generally is always with a little bit of dissociation. So I show you from the side, I think it's better. Front, stretch the leg, pivot. How works? I go front, I have a little bit of dissociation, I start to turn with my chest, hips, leg. Pushing on the floor, I go in the other side. front stretch completely the leg back till on the ground there is just the toes be careful don't turn in one piece, but like I told you before, turn your chest, hips, leg, and here the same, chest, hips, leg. chest but instead to go over with my leg I will cross back so front I start to turn with my chest but I will cross back front front again to change to change the leg front again start to turn with the chest cross back Step. So every time we were to make two step forward. Okay. So step, turn with my chest, cross back. Step, step, turn with my chest, cross back. Step, step, turn with my chest, cross back. Step, step, turn. Cross, step, step, turn, cross, step, step, turn, cross. Guys, the idea is not cross and turn. The idea is I am here and my, I let her come the legs along in the back I don't have to think to cross and after pivot while I am crossing or while I am turning the leg back goes in a cross now what happened let's think to when you turn and going cross Go and uh, I show also before to explain these details. I show also back and forth in this way. I put more back. To be clear and nice, I have to go while I'm turning 
I have to put my egg with the knee behind the other one in a way that I have to feel both legs like one. So avoid this crossing in this way. So I have to feel that the feet is flat when going cross. Doesn't go because this is what can be natural if we don't pay attention to the feet. That the feet goes in an external part. So think and be careful when you go there to like go behind the other knee. So in this way you avoid to go in turn with the knee open. So let's do again. Front and turn. Turn me back. Question guys, just ask, okay? Knee back and turn. Knee back, step, step. Knee back, step, step. Knee back, step, step. This, guys, can be the first part of the turn. For example, you can make a turn with Sagata and we can go like in Sagata. In this way, we start to turn, we cross back and we can finish like with a lapis. So it's really useful to training along this. Let's repeat another couple of times. Step, step, turn, back, step, step, cross, back, step, turn, step, step, turn. Now, just to make you clear why, where I can use this, if one my partner can come, Angela, thank you. And I show you in which situation we can start one turn in this way. So, we can be, for example, in the most classical way to make Sagada also from the Salida, sorry. We can start here. Now, we keep this association, cross back, and we can continue with Lavis. Wow, that's a lot scary. So cool. Or, sorry, in the other side. We go in Sagata, we meet, cross, and we are ready. Thank you. Wow, thank you. And we are ready to go in Lapis and to keep continue like we want. Thank you, guys. If you have questions, ask. But I really advise you to training a lot this because this is the basic for every kind of turn with the Roskia. Thank you. Have a nice evening and see you tomorrow.